All right, so let's consider the problem, which is a vessel of volume 0.3 meter cube contains dry saturated steam at 17 bar. Question says, calculate the mass and the enthalpy of the steam. All right, so first thing, let's get down our, our given parameters. We're given that volume V is actually 0.3 meter cube and um, we're given pressure pressure was given us okay p equals 17 bar first condition is first condition says um a vessel contains a vessel of um volume 0 0.3 meter cube contains dry saturated steam for dry saturated steam for dry saturated steam okay dryness fraction is equal to one which is x dryness fraction x is equal to one okay so for dry saturated steam dryness fraction is equal to one all right so since the steam is saturated it means um we have to go to the saturated water and steam table to get our values first of all we are given total volume total volume was given as 0.3 meter cube and we know and um, recall that total volume itself v is simply mass times um dryness fraction x times volume at um specific volume at the gas region or at the steam region so we now look through our steam table from saturated okay water and steam um water and steam table okay corresponding to 17 bar which is a given pressure let's pick out the value of specific volume at uh, 17 bar all right so let's look through our steam table so this is a steam table okay let me zoom it a bit this is the pressure line and this is a specific volume line let me take it a bit okay this is specific volume line okay and this is the pressure line so all we need to do is to get pressure of 17 bar so we'll go through the pressure line to obtain 17 bar this happens to be 17 bar okay um this is 17 bar and this is specific volume at that point and the value is 0 0.1167 okay so the value is 0 0.1167 so vg at 17 bar vg which is specific volume of the gas is giving us um 0 0.1167 this is meter cube per kilogram so if we substitute this into this equation total volume was given as 0 0.3 so we simply have 0 0.3 equals remember um, mass is unknown so you simply have mass times um for dry saturated steam so dryness fraction x is equal to one so this is simply one times then volume at the gas which is given us 0 0.1167 okay so therefore 0 0.3 is equal to this gives us 0 0.1167 times the mass so to make mass subject simply divide both side by 0 0.1167 that simply implies that mass is equal to 0 0.3 divided 0 0.1167 and if we do that uh, we'll simply um, obtain that mass is actually 0 0.257 kilograms that's the mass the next question says we should find the enthalpy of this thing also the relationship between um, um dryness fraction and enthalpy is simply dryness fraction x okay is giving us um specific enthalpy minus enthalpy at the fluid region all over enthalpy between the fluid and the gas okay so if we make specific enthalpy subject of the formula we are simply going to have that specific enthalpy is equal to um, dryness fraction times this so you have x hfg okay plus hf okay so you get this so we'll look through the steam table again um since the steam is saturated so from saturated water and steam um from saturated water and steam corresponding to 17 bar so all we need now is to pick out what 
hg and hfg so corresponding to 17 bar hfg is equal to let's get back to the steam table okay so like always this is the pressure this time around we are looking through the specific enthalpy lane okay which is simply this this is specific enthalpy let me zoom it a bit all right so this is specific enthalpy at the fluid this is specific enthalpy at the gas um sorry between the fluid and the gas this is hfg it was an error so this is supposed to be hfg it's supposed to be hfg the middle is hfg okay so this is hfg and this specific enthalpy at the gas all right so we trace through now um okay i'm um, simply from let's get one one two three four five and six okay one two three four five six seven one two three one two three four five six hfg okay so um 17 bar once again 17 bar is this so i think that was at six let's get it at point six one two three four five six all right so this is supposed to be the value for hfg 1923 let's see it fell under hfg yes correct so hfg is simply 1923 while hg is 2795 this is hg uh yes that's correct that's hg that's a column for hg 2795 so hfg is 1923 hg is 2795 okay hfg is 1923 hfg is 1923 kilojoules per kilogram while um specific enthalpy at the gas hg is 2795 kilojoules per kilograms okay so um all right so in case your steam table does not contain hfg just know um for the records that hfg is actually hg minus hf that's what the formula stands for so you can find the value of um, enthalpy at the gas subtract that or add the fluid let's try that and see okay so hg we got that to be 2795 minus hf let's pick out hf now at 17 bar all right so this is hf and that should be five one two three four five okay five from this point so this hf and this is 17 bar at the pressure so let's pick it out one two three four five this happens to be hf which is um you have that to be 872 right let's confirm 872 so that's hf is correct okay so hf is simply 87 it's seven two okay so if you subtract this from this you're simply going to still have hfg to be um 19 to 3 <clears throat> kilojoules per kilogram so should in case your steam table doesn't contain hfg you can always get that um from this formula all right so having known this now let's make specific enthalpy subject um specific enthalpy is now equal to remember for dry saturated dryness fraction is one so we simply have one times hfg hfg gives gives us our um, 1923 so it's one times 1923 plus h um, hg um, enthalpy at the gas oh sorry plus hf enthalpy at the fluid and we obtain hf okay we obtain hf here to be it's um it's nine it's seven two we contain we obtain hf from hg minus hf hf was given us um it's seven two so this plus it seven two so this means that specific enthalpy itself is simply equal to uh, two seven nine five kilojoules per kilogram so this is actually specific enthalpy this is actually specific enthalpy okay so we have to look for total enthalpy and total enthalpy um total enthalpy is simply h as capital h and is given as the value of the specific enthalpy times mass so simply mass times specific enthalpy that gives us the total enthalpy of the system and that simply implies that total enthalpy h is equal to the mass remember we obtain the value for the mass as um we obtain the value for the mass as um 0 0.257 so we're simply going to have Alright, so we're simply going to have 0 0.257 multiplied by um specific enthalpy, which is 2795.
okay 2795 sorry this is supposed to be 2795 specific entropy is 2795 okay so we're simply supposed to have 0 0.257 times 2795 okay so that means that total enthalpy is actually okay so if we do this we we'll have 718 in kilojoules all right guys so that's the answer to that question um i hope you enjoyed this video i will see you in the next video with another question on working fluid um in thermodynamics thanks